Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And today we're here to talk about insufficient funds, low cash balances, and the ATM being out of money. We thought we'd make this video because I, I oftentimes I get people asking about insufficient funds or somebody, a store owner called them and they were challenged by the whole situation about not having money in the ATM. Uh, or not in cardholders not having enough of money. So the story is, is that from time to time we'll get a call that what will happen is a merchant or a cardholder will try to get money out of their ATM. And when they try, their, the money isn't there. But the ATM will not dispense any money and then it'll, it'll, it'll just, and it'll say maybe insufficient funds on the receipt, but they don't necessarily know that there's not any money in their account. They thought there was money in the account, somebody said they were going to put money in their account, and there just isn't the funds available for them to withdraw. So then take the receipt up to the, usually up to the store owner or the manager or whoever's on duty, and they will say, hey, the ATM's out of money, or I tried to get money and the ATM didn't work, I think it's out of money. And so right then, what will usually happen then is the store owner will call the service number and say, hey, the ATM is out of money. Okay, now back before we had all this great technology, what we used to do is we'd issue, dispatch a technician, or if it was yourself, you'd jump in the car, uh, you'd get out to the location as soon as possible. You get out there and you realize ATM does have money, okay? And then you look at the journal and you say, look, the last person who tried to use the ATM didn't have uh, sufficient funds, and then you would show the store owner to say, look, the ATM doesn't have sufficient funds in it. And this whole process, depending on when you start, could have took somewhere between two and maybe as much as six hours is how fast you can get out there. And so today, with the technology, we have the ability to make that whole process seamless in about five minutes. One of the things that we do is when the store owner calls, First thing we do is we say, okay, when did this happen? I'll tell you, it just happened five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, and say, hold on. If you're on your phone, um, you'll need to call them back because there's an app that allows you to see all this. But if you're in front of your computer, you'll say, okay, let me research this. Tell me, tell me when this happened and we will call you back. So then you'll call, so then you'll get their number, then you'll look on your computer, and you'll see, hey, you know what? We got $4,000 in the ATM. The card holder requested $100. It'll say on there, there'll be a tag that says insufficient funds. Or sometimes it'll say exceeded um, withdrawal limit because maybe they, they have a limit on their card of $500 or $700. And even though there's money that they could take out, their bank isn't allowing them to take out any more money that day. So they'll say exceeds, ex, exceed withdrawal limit. So call back the store owner and you'll say, look, there's plenty of money in the ATM. That card holder had insufficient funds or that card holder was taking out a lot of money. So it says exceed spending or withdrawal limits. And so that is the issue, but the, the ATM is fu fully functioning and is, is working great, okay? And so the second point is that app that we just talked about will save, it'll, it'll save time. So you'll be able to do this instead of taking two to four, six hours to do all that, you can do that in a matter of minutes, okay? The third point is what we're doing is by doing this, we're providing great customer service. Now, store owner calls, you, they, have a, they have a problem, you say, give me, a, give me a couple minutes, let me research the problem. Now you come back with all the necessary um, information to provide to that store owner that this is what happened, this is how it happened, and this is what it means. Okay, on the other end, in the store, you might have the customer, the card holder saying, I got plenty of money, I don't know what you're talking about, this is all, this something's wrong with this machine, and you can always, just, it might be, it, like I said, might be just they exceeded their withdrawal limit. So sometimes that does happen where the person does have plenty of money in there but it, it, it doesn't give them uh, the ability. So that store owner, you might want to coach them and say, you know what, this owner, it sounds like that person exceeded their withdrawal limit. They might want to go to their bank 
and change the, the, the default from, let's say it's five or seven or eight hundred dollars, maybe up to a thousand or fifteen hundred a day. That'll help with this kind of situation. Okay, um, then knowing your business. The other point I want to make is you should, you, you're an ATM operator. Um, you're going to know that this happens from time to time. So you're going to know that how, what happens. It's not that the ATM is out of money, but there is these two, these two situations exceeds with withdrawal limits, uh, insufficient funds. And there's also, uh, sometimes there is a networking issue. The third thing that happens from time to time is there's a network issue is maybe somewhere in the process from them taking the money out the net a network goes down or they're changing over um, sometimes that they they batch out it from time to time at different times of the day and that network there's interference so um, sometimes we'll see network uh, a network error so then what we want to do is we want to say you know what try it again in, in 10 minutes sometimes the network will go back up that's like a rarity but it does happen from time to time but you got to know that as an ATM operator. Again, you can see that on your app. Utilize those tools, the app, your desktop. Utilize those tools to know what, what's going on so you can save yourself some time driving out to the location. Not that, you know, I don't recommend going out to the location from time to time, visiting with the store owner. But if this saves you some time, it's, it's well worth it. Okay? Um, and then what we found is this usually happens about three to five times a year per ATM, but not in the tra not in the the transient location. So that would be at a hotel or a, or a, a gas station right off the interstate. Those are more transient location. It doesn't happen very often there. It really happens more in the uh, lower income neighborhoods, a laundromat, a convenience store. That's where it seems to happen uh, quite a bit. And so. Just to let you know, if you're in some of those neighborhoods, you decide to put an ATM, which is always a good place to put ATMs. Um, a lot of people in the neighborhood, they don't have a lot of banking in, uh, opportunities, so you providing an ATM in those neighborhoods, always a good thing, not only for a neighborhood, but it's very lucrative for you as an ATM owner. But in those neighborhoods, you, you do have some challenges, and one of those challenges, you will get that call from time to time um, because of whatever circumstances there are. So I hope this helps this video. Uh, again, you can always like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Uh, join our ATM Mastermind group page. Thank you very much.